Hey everybody, it's Caitlin. So we've got a subscription box to open and I'm using a new phone. So hopefully this is going to be better quality than my old phone. I broke it. So got a new phone and it's a little different, but I actually think the lighting is better. So anyways, so as you know, my lip monthly issues continue. I got a lip monthly bag today. So just to recap, I got November's box which I was charged for, charged for December, charged for January, did not get either of those. I got charged in January twice, charged in February, got February's box, was not charged in March, but got March's box. So I am not going to bother saying anything to them because this is making up for the two boxes that I lost out on. Um, so I'm just going to not bother with it and see what happens. But as of today, which is March, uh, March 12th, I actually thought today was the 13th, but as of March 12th, I have not been charged for March's bag. So we're going to see what is in this. And I'm actually pretty excited because like I said, I really like the products. So I'm hoping that it is good. So let us see. I really like the packaging this month too. Normally it's, I've been getting it in just a plain um, like manila envelope. So let's see. Well, this is kind of cute. It's a cute little, it's blue with like peachish colored little stars on it, I guess. It's definitely more for like the little kids. My bag is damaged there, but not a big deal. It's, it's not a bad bag though. It's cute. Okay, let's jump in and see what we got. Okay, so this is March 2016. Hey, lip lovers, we're thrilled this, that spring is here and with it, a new brand called Camilla Cosmetics. Uh, you're getting a lipstick and a lip gloss in the same shade so that you can add some shine to your look or leave it matte. I love matte, so I'm really excited for that. We can't wait to, for you to try these products and hear what you think. And then down below, it tells you what's in there and we'll go over that as we go through. But I love matte, matte jamberry or matte anything. So I'm really excited to see this. So first thing in here is Cargo. It's by Cargo. It's blush and bronzer duo. Let's see. I got these cute pens for free for review. So let's see if I can use this to open up because I don't have my knife sitting here. I actually, what the heck? Well, this one's broken. So I, maybe not. Um, I cleaned my desk the other day. And I moved my knife. So let's see. There we go. See what this looks like. I really should have brought a knife because I don't want to break my nails. I actually got them long using the Jamberry cuticle oil. So I don't really want to break them. Are you serious? My goodness. Sorry, y'all. I'm having issues. Okay. Let's see how this opens. Does it twist or does it just pop off? It just pops off. Oh, pretty. So we got a pink. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it and then a brown sparkle. I'll be honest. I don't know enough about makeup to know what blush or bronzer does for you or where it goes. But I like the colors and I will have to figure it out so that I can try it. But I really like that and it's a cute little tin, easy to carry around. So that's nice. Next item in here is Eco Lips Eco Tints in Sugar Plum. Um, it looks like it's going to tint your lips, obviously. How do I? Oh, geez. So it's like a deep purpley color. Let's see. I put it on, but I'm not seeing anything. Ooh, it smells minty. I'd say it's like a minty. It's yummy. Okay, I'm rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. It does. It's turning a little bit with a lot, but I'd have to put on a lot to make it turn any color. Um, I like the color on here. I wish it would tint my lips like that, but I can't foresee it doing that because you just saw how much I wiped it and it's not very much difference. Um, but it's more of like a brownie color, a brown weird color, but it smells good. I think I'd probably just want to eat it, but 
I will use it because I always need moisture for my lips, but I'm not a huge fan of it for the fact that it doesn't really tint anything. 30% fair trade certified. Let's see. Okay, well, that's that Eco Lips. Kind of cute. Smells good. And then the last two items in here are going to be the ones that are the same. Only one's a lip gloss and one's a matte. So, of course, they are in plastic. Let's see. Open this up here. Because so far we're one for one. I like one and I don't like the other. So, let's see what color these are. It just says 03 on it. It's lip gloss. This is the lip gloss by Camellia Cosmetics. I always rip these things. I can never get them open They're good. Easily. Ooh, that is pretty color. I like that. So in the video, my shirt is actually like an apple red. It doesn't pick it up like that. And my shirt, my jacket is the, the purple it's saying. My lips are actually orange. So if that helps you decide what color that is, it's darker than my shirt. It's like a purpley color. Ooh, very pretty. And it smells good too. It smells fruity. Let's see. You can see it's definitely a um, pinkish, like a dark pink color, I guess. I actually really like it. And I like that it's not a color I already have, which is nice because I've got a deep burgundy red or a deep burgundy. And then I've got a red and then I've got orange and then pink. So those are the ones I've gotten in subscription boxes so far. So I like that it's not one that I already have. And I love anything matte, so I'm thinking that I'm definitely going to like the matte better. Zero 03, it's tiny. It looks like a little bullet. I'll be honest. Like a vibrator bullet, not a bullet bullet. It's very light, cheapo type plastic, but it's cute. I just wanted to see. This is very sticky. It smells good, though. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Well, you got a lot in there, but look at the shape of that. I don't know if you could tell. You see how it like curls really hard. Okay, I'm gonna be honest that this does not feel like lipstick. It feels very hollow and cheap. So there you go. So you can see there. Those are the three colors that we've got. That's very light for a lipstick. I don't know too much about makeup, but that's very light. And it feels, it just feels cheap. And it feels hollow inside. Seriously, I'm like hitting it. And normally makeups for me, when I, like I use Mary Kay before and whatnot, even Walmart brand, you get, when you touch it, you can get some on your skin. I am not seeing too much on my skin, except I was just beating the heck out of it. But it's a pretty color. It's definitely gonna have to be put on thick in order to be like a more matte type look. I do like the color, but I'm not impressed with the brand, I guess I could say. I do actually really like this, but I think it's gonna, I don't know. I like it when it goes on and looks glossy, but it's not sticky. This is not sticky, but it feels, it definitely feels like it's gonna stay wet on your lips. I know that's weird to say about a lip gloss because I think that's pretty much how they all are, but I don't know. It's not, it's not sticky, so that's good. But um, overall, I gotta say that I really, really like the colors, but I don't know how well I'm gonna wear it because it's gonna take a lot of layers, I think, to put on to make it look good. I did big giant swatches, sorry. I guess it's because I have big hands. So I do really like this. I need to figure out how to use it and I will definitely use that. This smells really good, and I will use it, but it definitely doesn't give any color. It's kind of a yucky color. Um, it's kind of got a little bit of shimmer in there, but it's more of like a tannish brown than anything. It's not my style, but I'll definitely check it out. So overall, four items and whatever. I, I guess it's good. I'm super bummed about this. This just feels cheaper than dollar store quality. I got to be honest. I mean, I've tried dollar store quality 
uh, makeups and stuff, and their packaging is better, well made, and their lipsticks are not so weird. I don't know. That's just, I didn't even think it felt real. It feels like that plastic uh, lipstick you can get for your little kids. So that's weird. But I don't know. I will try them and let you know in the comments down below how I like them when I actually wear them. But overall, I am happy that I canceled lip monthly even with all the issues i am happy that i canceled with them but i wouldn't continue if i had gotten this box first i would definitely not continue with the box so let me know what you think down below i really like the name of this this company what is it camellia camilla cosmetics i really like it and i like the packaging it's really cute so i really like that but overall I'm not super impressed with the box and the bag is not my favorite i like the other two that i've gotten so far better than this one but it's okay. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this box and if you would buy this box. And I am not going to endorse you and say that you should get this box because in reality, you really shouldn't since I have been scammed out of money and I see that a lot of people have been scammed out of their money. But if you do want to check them out, please, please, please keep up on your bank accounts and your boxes and be sure that you are getting them and being charged because I'm still being charged the eight or ten dollars is what I was charged. I was not charged for this box, um, but uh, the box is twelve ninety five. So just be sure to look it up, and I'll leave the link down below for Lip Monthly is a scam, which is my other video, just so you can see all the information and check out all the comments to see all the other people who have been scammed by this company, so that you can you know, get an idea on if you want to sign up with this company or not. So I like to give everybody all the information, at least from my end, so that they have it before signing up. So that is Lit Monthly for March 2016. And I don't know if I'll see you on next month's video because I don't know if they're going to continue to send these to me um, for free because I canceled it when I got an email saying that my Lit Monthly has shipped and here's the tracking. I rushed over to my bank account to be sure I was not charged and I was not. And then I went to the uh, website and I saw that my account was deactivated now you can't cancel them monthly you can only deactivate it i have tried erasing my credit card information off their website and they will not let me so i have tried making up just a fake credit card number to put in there and it won't let me do that either so there's and there's no phone number to call them so there's really no way to cancel it and upon emailing they just tell you to go deactivate your account so it's really hard to cancel with them um, as far as getting your information off of their website so just be aware of that as well um and i guess i may or may not see you on next month's video of lip month and now where did my stuff go oh. and i will be back and show you a video for my new nails i am going to be putting on latte love which is a brand new jamberry wrap and I'm going to be mixing it with intertwined as an accent now. So I will have those up for you next video. And if you would like to host a party, please let me know or join my team or any questions about Jamberry, please leave a comment down below or check out my Jamberry page and we can chat because I would love to host a party for you. I give away tons of free stuff. And when you host, you get a free half sheet of any of my stash or from the website. So um, I will see you on the next video and take care as always. Bye guys.